<laughs> so they are questioning this man as to whether he gives oral sex. Only fan models now. Do you understand the amount of men that's been down there with their genitalia? And they fully expect the next man to go down there with their mouth, man. What sense does that make? I could just as easily ask her, well, if I squatted on this plate right here and took a crap, would you be willing to smear it all around your lips and lick it off with your tongue? That, that's about the same level of nastiness that they're asking from this guy, man. <laughs> Laura Fader coming at you with another video. I hate to keep mine in the same territory. And I swear to y'all, this is not an Asian thing, man. This just happens to be what it is. This is an episode where Mr. Andrew Wilson, personal hero of mine, is kind of uh, debating this young lady named Cindy, who is an OnlyFans model, but claims to be a Christian. And I, I just thought it was amazing the way she chose to reconcile these two things. So without any further ado, let's go ahead on and get a little click on the video. And uh, I'm trying to think where we start off. I think the first point I wanted to uh, start off is uh, Cindy. So Cindy, um, Cindy, she uh, she's Christian. You're Christian, right, Cindy? Yes, I am. Now I she really claims know. on the, her previous appearance, uh, you had a did you dress up too? were you dressed up in the costume? No, I'm trying I to dressed remember. up. It was just the tattoo, right? You had the fake tattoo. By the way, just gotta say, Cindy's a lovely young woman, man. It's, it's a doggone shame, you know, how her mind works, but check this out. Yeah. So, Andrew, Cindy had, and she frequently wears a cross, uh, although not today. It was broken. Actually, we, let, me, let me check your Instagram really quick, but. While I was making content, it broke. It broke apart. The, the what, uh, what? I think he's telling you something. I think that was God. <laughs> Sorry, Andrew, could you repeat? <laughs> Look at Andrew back for he like what making content with the cross on. Yep. The question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what kind of content were you making? I was just making um, porn, regular, you know, regular content. Nick. Wait till we find out what she mean by regular content. Can you pull up Cindy's Instagram really quick? And you also, last show, she, Andrew, she was trolling us. She got this like terrible fake black tattoo uh, it's it cross. Was real and it wasn't real. Laser it off. Yeah, you lasered it off in like two months. She had a giant cross tattoo. Actually, Nick, why don't you pull up that Instagram? I'm going to find that one for you. And you can. Uh, you got the Insta. We're also going to find, I'm going to find the actual episode so I can actually show you the. So what he's talking about is this young lady who does prawn online under OnlyFans tattooed a black cross on her throat. Now, why do we think she would do that, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on. It My was, theory is coming up. I think that was the first appearance with Brie. Was the one? Yeah, this is the one. I'm going to send it to you in the private chat. Okay, Nick? Just so Andrew can see it. First, we're going to look at her Instagram. Look at my Nick, boy can Andrew. Pull up her Instagram. <laughs> So, for the, those who don't know, Andrew is a... Uh, you bad girl. All right. Thanks, babe. Yeah. You bad girl. That's fine. It's fine there. Uh, so, Andrew... Okay. This is what's considered a Christian woman. She's an Orthodox Christian. Now, Cindy, you what's do... What's an Orthodox? Well, what's an Orthodox? That, but in your Instagram, and it says, God first... You wear, you frequently wear, you're in your Pia profile picture, you have a cross on, you frequently wear a cross. Uh, and then just below it is a link to your website, which then goes off and links to your OnlyFans where you produce pornographic content. Uh, Andrew had some thoughts on this, both on the fact that you wear a cross, that you're. Before Andrew gives his thoughts, I gotta say, man, OnlyFans has ruined 
an entire generation of women. Women who normally wouldn't be in the sex industry are now in it because it's so easy and it's so detrimental to not only the women, but the men that support it, man. We need to, now they talking about banning TikTok, ban OnlyFans, please. Linking to pornographic content in your bio and just above it, it says God first. And then uh, the whole fake cross on your neck thing. Uh, oh, really quick, actually. This Look at how antsy she is with the jumping up and down and bobbing. And see, she know right now that she is all the way out of pocket, man. She know God don't sanction none of her actions. And she is invoking God in everything that she does, man. And that is crazy. There is a God in play here, but not the one that she wants you to believe. So there's three things there for you to react to, Andrew. Nick, could you pull up the, uh, the video? And just scrub to a, a point visible in the stream where uh, you don't have to play it. We can just do a paused screen grab where it's like more so uh, visible from Cindy, probably during the intros or something. While we're waiting for that, guys, like the video for your watching on YouTube, drop us a like and then Twitch.tv slash whatever. If you're watching on Twitch, drop us a follow on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, please do support the whatever podcast. Please do. All right. So it's a little hard to see here. There it goes. There's a, uh, so you got this terrible fake cross tattooed on your neck. Uh, right, you, right on the throat. Yeah, right, right on, on the, the throat. throat. Okay. And didn't you make some statements about like th throat see that throat? I give right down her throat <laughs> she gives good black hugs. tattoo good. do you give good black hugs? man uh what do you mean do you give good hugs <laughs> lucky lucky sloppy toppy <laughs> oh i thought you were trying to like insinuate like i essing the d no i uh i don't do that at all oh you don't you go ahead do you want the whole uh, world a, to know that yeah i've said it multiple times on the show there's better ways to make a girl come to me <laughs> So they are questioning this man as to whether he gives oral sex. Only fan models now. Do you understand the amount of men that's been down there with their genitalia? And they fully expect the next man to go down there with their mouth, man. What sense does that make? I could just as easily ask Kurt, well, if I squatted on this plate right here and took a crap, would you be willing to smear it all around your lips and lick it off with your tongue? That, that's about the same level of nastiness that they're asking from this guy, man. And they think it's normal. Whew, my God. So you don't want to give head? No, I don't do it. But my, if, I mean, if we're getting into sexual Man, just say no. Uh, yeah, I, I don't do it. Make my Y'all nasty. For me and preferably multiple times, but I'm not, do I'm not a fan of giving head. Cheers to that. Why? Cheers yeah, why? <laughs> Stop okay. dancing around the bush. <laughs> well, hold on. You're deflecting a little bit here, Cindy. I can get into that later. I think Andrew's curious to learn a bit more about... Um, the cross? Your thoughts, Andrew? Yeah, so, yeah, so to just to kind of dive in, what was the deal with the cross on the throat? Because I wore a cross necklace on my throat. And no, the tat, the fake tattoo. The tat, the black tattoo. Yeah. I wanted to get a cross tattoo, so I was like, you know, seeing what it would look like. Okay, Cat is out of the bag on this end. She wanted to get a cross tattoo on her neck to blaspheme God. That's what she wanted to do, because it's associated with some things that's going to be going in her mouth and down her throat. That, that's, the, that's the reason why she did it. But is she going to stand here and at least admit it? No. Watch this. I didn't yeah. like it, so I got rid of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure this out, right? I just joined, so just bear with me. I'm just trying to <laughs> kind of, kind of under, like understand the mindset and this type of thing. So uh, you do identify yourself as a, as a Christian. That is correct, right? Yeah. I love God. Okay. Okay, and what, what kind of Christian? What uh, denomination do you know? You're just non-denominational, maybe? I love God. 
I don't know what the deal is with this guy right here. Look at this guy. What is the deal with him? He remind me of that thing that's on, uh, that John Leguizamo used to play when they did the prehistoric animals. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but he looks just like that thing, man. And he's distracting as he wants to be. But you anyway. know, so no denomination. Like you don't belong to an official church of any what's kind. What's your What's your definition of de denomination, Andrew? You belong to a certain a certain sect of church. So like maybe you're a Calvinist or maybe you're a Baptist. Wait, can, uh, yeah, I actually you? was um, baptized at Saint Baptist Church. You were baptized at Saint Baptist Church. <laughs> yes, I was. Saint Baptist. Is it just me? Or I think we might have come across the first Asian not so bright person that I've ever seen in my life. Um, I have to like really go and like ask someone like what church I got baptized. Is that like St. Baptist the second? Perhaps St. Baptist the third? I don't think that. I'm not really familiar like the first, second, third. Yeah, no, and I can, you're, I can you're, understand. I can understand yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So, so I just, I just have a quick question. I think I do remember the episode. So, in this episode, Brian asked you, if I remember correctly, if, um, if God wanted you to do OnlyFans, then what would Satan want you to do? To stop doing OnlyFans. So, see, do you think that Satan would want you to stop doing OnlyFans? That son of a bitch. Well, I think the original answer to the question was, I, th I forgot exactly the framing of the question. I mean, <laughs> Watch how Brian screws this up. And that's fine, right? So, I mean, do, do you think, though, that Satan is the one who would want you to stop doing OnlyFans? Yeah. No, she said originally, God wants her to be doing OnlyFans, <laughs> and then and Satan would be the one who wanted her to stop doing OnlyFans. To tell her yeah, that's what she just yeah. said now. She just said the same thing. She said Satan would want her to stop doing OnlyFans. No, she... Wait, hold on. Yes, sorry, sorry. I'm Get it right. Yeah. Straighten it up, God. baby. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's Andrew. all good, Brian. It's all good. Wait, Andrew. <laughs> Discombobulated today. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's been a hectic day. Wait, Andrew, are you able to tune up the light a little bit on your camera, or is it too much? Yeah, I can tune it up a little bit. Okay. Hang on. We can uh, see him fine, man. What's ahead, the deal? There you go. Who cares about that? So, yeah, so... Um, so, so you think that Satan would prefer that you um, that you gave up the old OnlyFans? Yes. Yeah. He would tell me. He, he would, would tell me to that. stop. Yeah. Why do you think he'd want you to stop? Pay attention. Because I love making. I love making sexual content. And money. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if she ever read the Bible or even heard people talking about it. But uh, sex outside of marriage is forbidden. It is uh, not only frowned upon, but it's one of the things that will send your soul to the H-E double hockey sticks. Now, this lady is actually sitting up here saying Satan would want her to stop doing sexual content and God wants her to do it. The only way that works is that when you say God you mean Satan. And if you say Satan, you mean God. That's why I think that this woman is actually a witch. I think that this lady is up here playing with everybody. I think this lady, it, a sole intention is to blaspheme God. And God does not play. So I want, I'm anxious to see how the rest of her life turns out. I probably will never hear nothing else about this lady, man. But the fact that our young women are espousing this is just insane. Yeah, that, I mean, that makes sense. So you think that God would, his preference would be that you continued to make sexual content on your OnlyFans and in order to keep the devil away, right? The, the, the devil is the one who would have the preference that, uh, that you stopped making the self-indulgent sexual content that you're making. I just want to make sure I got this clear. Yes, he oh, wants God. me to do it. I God hear, wants you to, yes. Yeah, do you have vision? See the little jumping and all that, that, that's the key. That's the tell that she is definitely, she understands that she lying. She understands that she's blaspheming. I don't know why this young lady chose to do that, man, because our young, I, well, I kind of think I know why it's the influence. 
This is a Satanist. This is not a Christian. This person worships Satan because ye shall know them by their fruits. And what she's doing is satanic. Does, has God come to you in a dream and told you perhaps that only I talk to him and he to... tells me, yes, keep doing what you do. Girl, it's great. Where do you, where do you talk? Great. Like, you real, small... real talk speaking, like people around, it's like, I get that if you are a good, like real Christian, that can be a part of your platform. But if it's a joke, it's... I got to stop it right here, man. I got to stop it right here. Let me tell all the sisters out there, man. That's not cute at all. The blonde hair. We already know it's fake. But blonde, I mean, come on. That's crazy. You stand out like a sore thumb. You want, you want that appreciation and love from, from the other half so bad that you're sitting up in there with that doggone uh, golden fleece on top of your head, man. <laughs> it's not attractive. I'm sorry. And you know what? Somebody uh, said on one of my last videos that the whole video was about shaming. Look at this person. This person need a healthy dose of shame. Think about her with her natural hair. Think about her with not all these tight clothes on. She'd be a beautiful young woman. She don't need to do all this stuff. But she's sitting at a table with a witch listening to the doctrine of devils. That's, that's the way she's come. So I'm not trying to intentionally shame anybody, but bad behavior is bad behavior. So we call out bad behavior wherever it is. You can think it's shame or not. Maybe we need a little bit of shame if that's how you want to perceive it. But man, come on with this. This this has been going since the early 2000s, man. Black women with Mary J. Blige, uh, Lil' Kim, y'all ruined a whole generation of sisters, man. Thank you. It's like it's a respect thing, you know? I've said my piece. And by the way, the white lady with the blonde hair ain't no better because that ain't her natural hair color. It don't look right on her either. But moving on. I have respect sure you're talking to God? for my religion. Ooh. Yeah, they, I'm just curious. How do you know you're talking to God? Right. She ain't talking to God. Not at least the one everybody else praying to. Are you convicted by the Holy Spirit? My relationship with God is different from your relationship because... For different people. Yeah, for different people. That's very valid. Your relationship with God is that you're breaking the law of God and you shall be just and you shall be punished for that. That's the relationship that you have because you're not even making the, the slightest of efforts to walk the way that God walked. Because she's going to mention Jesus Christ here in a little bit, man. And once you get baptized and once you become what lay people would call a Christian, these worldly things fall away from you. You're not really interested in wealth sex you're interested in doing what jesus did sacrifice that's the main thing that he was here to show y'all that it wasn't about him it was about what he sacrificed for us when he came around people got well the blind saw the sick were healed demons was cast out mm -hmm. but it's like it, it comes to, it comes to the fact that it's like you still, it, it's a respect thing at the end of the day. And like, yeah, people's relationships with God are different, but seeing it in, in like an overall look, you know how it comes across, you know? No, I don't. Do you, cause earlier you were talking about how um, you, you, you would want like sex reserved for marriage, right? No, I think Even the other women on the panel ain't cool with what she doing. I was, I did not say that. I oh, did I'm not, sorry. I, I, did not I say thought we were clarifying at the beginning. Like, well, I was sex just curious what's, what's if you don't wife? mind if I just quickly finish my inquiry oh. uh, before we go over to the, to the rest of the table, if you don't, if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. Um, go ahead, Andrew. Thank ahead. you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So does God want you to stick a dick in your mouth? Is that what God wants you to do? When you talk to God, does he say, gobble up that dick? Is that what he says? <laughs> I if it's like a guy that I like, no. And I end up partaking oh, sexual, like. yeah, the, like the guy that mm -hmm. my, my boyfriend, my Does husband. Does God tell you to do gangbangs? Mike Davis. So, do like privately, oh, wait, hold on, wait, if hold what's on. good, Hey, it's Mike Davis. Don't put God first, put Mike Look Davis first. God may or may not love you, but with Mike Davis, you're going to win 100% oh, on of the time. Wait, hold on. I got. Let's get past this part right here. But anyway, so back to this. Uh, I just was curious. Does God want you to engage in gangbangs, as he told you? When you were dreaming, for instance, and you had a conversation with God, did he say, 
thou musteth goeth and get gang bangeth. Did, did, did that conversation happen, do you think? Yeah. No. No? But so well, out of the conversations like where God happens, tells you that you must have sex with strangers for money, how does that occur? Can you kind of like give us an overview of how God frames his you need to have sex with This poor young girl need help, man. And, and the last thing that most people are going to give her is going to be some help. The women are going to hate on her and all the guys going to want to sleep with her. But don't nobody care about her. And this is the problem. With men for money conversations with you, I'd like to hear about it. What is your definition of making money with men? You have, I'm, I'm guessing that you have sexual huh? intercourse with men for the purpose of collecting some type of cash, right? Right, right. Okay, so that oh would be my, my God. definition. You're right. <laughs> so, yeah, so, what is, I... so, what is God? So, how oh does the conversation God. with God go? Can you like give us a brief overview? Well, I don't really tell him anything like about my sexual. I just tell him like that I'm blessed with the job that I have, and you know I appreciate everything he's already given to me. And but I thought you said God wants you to do this, and you've had conversations with him. Yeah, like with like OnlyFans, especially like that's like my work. I have See, that's why I think we need to ban OnlyFans. Most women are inherently lazy; they don't want to get up and they don't want to do nothing. The only thing that I have seen that motivate them is their children. To feed their children, they'll get up and work. But if they don't got no kids and they got a choice, even if they do have children, if they can lay back on their back and have sex for money, which is the easiest thing in the world to do, that's what they're gonna do. This should not be allowed, I'm sorry. We got too many problems than to worry about people spending their day, wasting their time away, being sexually satisfied for the little five minutes that they're gonna be sexually satisfied. Then they gotta go do it all over again. This is absolutely crazy. It's destroying America. It's rotting our society. And we just dealing with a bunch of degenerates, man. And this young lady is A1 proof. And I don't mean to really just come down on this young lady, man, but she is sorely misinformed and she needs some real help real fast i know exactly who i'm gonna be praying for when i'm get done with this video to continue, okay so like, you've had conversations with god about your only fans yeah to prosper and attract abundance and growth with my business yes mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah uh, just to so god wants you to prosper and have abundance in bit in, in sin i don't think she even uh, he should ask her what do you think sin is what's the penalty for sin because it said in the book, the wages of sin is death. You might not die today, and it might be a spiritual death. But I'm just telling you, right now, I don't think she understands what sin is, or she does understand it, and she's just here basically trolling everybody that believes in some type of religion or some type of ethical law. To make sure that I'm clear, you when you speak to whoever this God is... Personally, I feel like she's trolling. ...that you're speaking to, you don't actually... Jesus Christ. What's that? Jesus Christ. There it is. Jesus Christ. Because that's the goal to attack Jesus Christ. And that's exactly what this lady is doing. She's attacking Jesus. Lady, your arms are too short to box with God. Jesus Christ wants you to do OnlyFans work? Yeah. Just, just so that we're clear? Yes. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Just out of curiosity. If a man offered you $100,000 to sell your soul on a piece of paper to him, would you do it? Yes. Because she's already done that. Soul is already sold. The only thing that can redeem her now is Christ. That's it. Hopefully, she'll find the real one. Huh? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I thought that she might. <laughs> huh? It'll be after nature takes its course and ain't nobody checking for her no more then she'll want to really delve into the religion that she should have been in in her youth. And that's what she's going to have to stand before God on Judgment Day and explain. I feel like you're going, you're going against your whole thing then. That's literally going against, oh, you're talking to God for I think that ever, I think that ever since I... <laughs> Ice Age. <laughs> that's it. Ice Age. He looked just like that thing on Ice Age, and I know everybody that's watching this knows what I'm talking about. Look at it. I moved to LA. I've sold my soul. Oh, so don't, Ice don't, Age. Don't, don't, don't put God that's in whatever it. you're doing if you've sold your soul, you know? It's like a 
Are you they at don't peace go hand with in hand yourself? In. Yes. <laughs> I'm finding peace within myself every day. Who do you think you sold your soul oh to? Baby, oh my God. To Who my soul. Oh you sold God. your soul to yourself. How much did you pay yourself for your own soul? Was it cheap? Or did you, it did was you definitely charge not yourself cheap. a bunch of money? I've spent a lot of money on myself, yes. Yes, because in your worldview, you are God. Me, 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 I, I, I. You're God. And you're going to enjoy these little fleeting pleasures, this fleeting wealth that you got. If you get 80 years of it, then, hey, that's a good run, right? But what does that matter if you die and you heading toward the flames? And those flames last literally forever. So you're going to be given a new body after death, a spiritual body. That spiritual body, the flames won't consume, but you'll be able to feel everything, the whole thing, the whole time. And we're not talking about 80 years. We're talking about eternity. So that means a billion, trillion, trillion, quadrillion, billion years will pass and it'll be like a second. But you're going to feel every second. And I don't think people understand rolling the dice on that ain't really worth it. It's just not worth it. But I can understand when you don't believe or you choose to believe the opposite because you just don't want to face law, truth, and justice. But one day, we're going to all stand before God, trust me. And we're going to have to answer for every last one of our sins. And somebody, please stop this young lady because she's racking them up so fast. I don't, I don't know if she's going to be able to defend herself. Yeah, so you charge yourself a lot of money for your own soul. So you sold your soul to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So, but she if a man sold her or, soul. You know, some like um, I don't know, OnlyFans bum simp uh, offered up like a hundred thousand dollars to you to sell your soul to him. You would do that, right? Yeah, why not? That's uh, yeah. that's a. Uh, now, what if as part of the contractual deal, he says your soul's right actually there. going that's to Satan? Would you would you still do it? Girl. That's a did he say a hundred thousand? Look at him, man. You're selling, you're like selling your whole existence for a hundred thousand. Poor girl, man. Andrew, can you repeat yourself? What'd you say? Yeah, so it was, I, my question was, what if an entailment of the contract, meaning inside of the contract, he wrote, and by the way, I'm going to then barter your soul with the devil. Would you still sign the contract? For a hundred thousand. Yeah. Okay, how much are we talking about? <laughs> Okay, how much are we talking about? What does it matter how much you're talking about? What in the world, man? This can't be real. That's why I say I think this girl is trolling, man. This is some good content from whatever podcast because it, it just had me just thrown for a loop. I was watching this, man. I was like, this, 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 this can't be real. Does it matter? I feel like it shouldn't be a question. How much is it? How much is it? Hang on, hang on. Let her answer. How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? One person at a time. Hundred thousand dollars. That's not enough. Okay, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's not enough. I don't care if it was twenty trillion. Okay, how much? More, like in the millions. More. Oh, oh my two million God! Dollars, you sell your soul Poor to the girl, devil. man. Hmm. No, not two million. Higher. How much? It's just higher. Fifteen million. More. Thirty million. More. Okay, 100 million. Final offer. Okay, this message is for the future sucker that event eventually will try to settle down with this chick after she done seen Mo Doggone Sausage in an Italian shop. Man, remember this girl's face. Remember this. Trust me, it's going to be a bad deal. I don't care what she do or what she say after the fact man she ain't gonna be able to bond with nobody she's incapable of showing anybody love for the rest of her life she's already ruined at a young age man and i feel so sorry for her. everybody out there pray for this young lady man pray for cindy tonight please more. being a conversation in <laughs> itself is showing that well, i don't God know is how much more girl. is mm -hmm. So name your I mean, price. I know that you're probably used to saying the word more when you're on camera, but I would still like it. <laughs> that was a good one. Appreciate it if you would uh, tell me what the actual number is. See that? Summon them demons, baby. Summon them demons. Are you talking to God right now? Yes. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like... <laughs>
Uh, I need to, like, Paul making Rich I Guy donated $200. Thank you for pushing back mm -hmm. against Andrew. I would not be able to have so many side chicks on rotation if women I'm, like you didn't co-sign the lines cool. that I tell them. You are helping us rich guys get laid. What are you talking to? <laughs> or about? Maybe this was like in the beginning. Oh, I'm I'm about, like, oh, I wouldn't pay for the date. You're good. I hate to say it, man, but I see some parallels with Daisy Chin on this one. And like I said, I don't mean for this to be an Asian thing, but I mean, dude. Both of their worldviews. I don't understand where they get them. Where'd Andrew go? Oh, there oh. he is. <laughs> so he's telling you, like, at what price would you sell your soul to the devil? Uh, what price? Yeah. There's really, like, because, like, the price is, like, endless. Do you know Zero? what I mean? One the price trillion right. dollars. <laughs> yeah, the price oh, is really man. endless. So you so would. Um, I'll do it. I'll do it for the right price. That's all I could say could say to you <laughs> sound like you do everything for the right price baby girl yeah that makes sense that makes sense so when you have your conversation with god later and thank him for all the prosperity of giving you money so that you can get plowed by random men on the internet uh are you gonna let him know that you also for the right price are willing to sell your soul to the devil i just want to just want to make i sure would say clear. maybe like 10 million a year Oh yeah, that makes sense. What? I could see that. She just said 15 I mean, I would say like uh, there's probably bands which have sold their soul for less than 10 million a year. I mean, that seems like a reasonable price, right? There's a lot of bands out there that sold they soul for a fraction of that. One hit album, one hit song, man. Yeah. Actually make it 12. So I want Actually make it 12. What does it matter? I make yeah, 1 million every month. I mean, it's the devil. The devil can afford 12 million a year for your soul, right? But the thing is, is I gotta ask, why would he give you a dime considering you already did that? Mm. Like, what, what do you have to negotiate with? Uh, my fans will buy it. Oh, okay, well that makes sense. Yet again, my appeal, ban OnlyFans. Look at the look in this woman's eyes as she says, my fans will buy it. Man, suckers, wake up, man. Please stop supporting this crowd. Just stop supporting. Just defund OnlyFans. Don't defund the police. Defund OnlyFans. Make them change their content from this smut. If you're on OnlyFans, do something else with yourself. It's an affront for you to be sitting up there just sticking things into yourself for money. It's an affront. Where are the women at that you guys are talking about that are in the STEM field that's leading the way out here? Where are the ladies at that's standing side by side with men in jobs that, you know, uphold the whole infrastructure of the planet? All y'all doing is proving that the feminism you fight for don't exist. This is what you want to do right here. My subs right. will be going up. The, the resub is going crazy. Makes sense. Oh my God. All right, that's all I had. I just uh, just was curious. He Why let this girl off so easy. Got into like being saying, "Hey, like I'm doing OnlyFans because God told me so. Why can't you just accept? Like, hey, I want to do OnlyFans because I wanted to do OnlyFans. Why, why bring religion into this? All right. Yeah, because she's trolling. She bringing religion into it because she wishes to offend. Because she wishes to get the eyeballs on her. She don't believe this stuff. But just think of how many other people are going to be going to OnlyFans for the devil lady that's doing it in the name of Jesus. Either way, man, you exploiting Jesus to do sin. I can't think of a worse thing. If you gonna Honestly, it all started on the first podcast, but I believe in God. It's in my bio. It uh -huh. sells more probably, doesn't it? It has a lot of controversy with more. that topic, and I get a lot of hate, and I love it. So it's mm -hmm. like, but I feel like at the end, it's all day. it's uh, at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Ice Age. Look at it. <laughs> Wonder what's going on through his mind right now. At the end of the day, it's like it's my religion. It's yes. who I pray every day. So I feel like, you can like that that's God. who I worship, and like understand that they're like if you believe it there is a higher power and stuff mm -hmm. but so like obviously like yeah you like god but i don't know if like making like the trade-off with the devil would like best like be in your interest for the fact that you enjoy god 
Because it's like, yeah, you can choose to just not believe in God anymore. But if you're going to devote yourself to God, which mm -hmm. is like what you're saying. Don't worry. She's going to find out about the higher power. She's going to find out about what the consequences are of her actions, too. This is why God gave us free will, ladies and gentlemen. You can choose to do what you want to with it, but you got to pay the piper in the end. And I don't know if, like, if, like, that's the best thing for, like, God looking down on you being, like, oh, Cindy doesn't. Cindy thinks that there's other options now besides me, and she wants to get rid of me as an option. It's mm -hmm. like dating. If, like, the mm -hmm. price That's right. not right. what I think. What, what do you mean when you say you love God? I, I think of, of him every day. So, you, so I have a relation. I have an actual relationship with. Also, I'm getting some transformer vibes by the lady that's beside her. That's a big lady, man. She's dwarf and ice age over there. That's wonderful. And I think of other people in my life, like family and friends. Okay. That um, I also. This is amazing. Like, this can't be real. Evolve okay. My life with him, and yeah. So you would equate it to like the way you love your mom or your dad or your, you know, your sibling or something like that? There's no greater love than that? I mean, like, <laughs> that, like, clearly, like, it's different when it's like family and friends mm -hmm. compared to God. But I would say I want to have that, like, relation that, you know, like, I, when I first wake up in the morning, I think of him. And when I, go to sleep at night, I think of him. She can't be sitting up here telling us that her family is cool with what she doing, man. If her family is cool with her, then that's a whole nut house. All of them crazy. And just continue growing that relationship like any other relationship that's in my life. Just like Ugh. general revelation and speaking to him. Mm -hmm. Do you read yes. the Bible? I used to have bibles because i went to confirmation school you used to have bibles but it sounds like you never actually cracked one of them open you, so you grew up like yeah much less read what's in it uh, i had friends in like elementary that was at, you went to confirmation school at uh, just to be clear saint baptist church correct saint baptist <laughs> yeah saint baptist <laughs> yeah saint baptist okay confirmation yeah. typically would be catholic but yeah. it's it's uh, me. I'm sure you went to some sort of Sunday school. That totally makes sense. Yeah, I went to Catholic and learned. I tried to mm, like mm, learn mm. about the history, and I made friends. I uh, went to like servings, like the wine and like the mm -hmm. the bread. Mm. The bread. bread. <laughs> yeah. yeah it takes bread. It's like she never really experienced these things. She's just recalling what's out there in the public consciousness about it and the bread and. Did you even ask why you were doing it? You just was doing it or you saw it done? You don't know what communion is? So, and stuff like what that. do you do today in your present life that you, that you would say, God, yeah, that so you would serve God, like God yeah. in that way? Or what steps would you want to take to progress your bond with God? I would say that my family is also a believer of God. So yeah. that brings me pretty close, as, as close as it can be. Mm. Do they know Ugh. that you do OnlyFans? Yes. How I'm not disgusted so much as I'm disappointed. I really am. This lady has destroyed her life, and what she's doing is leading other young ladies to destroy their lives too, man. How are we going to have a country if we don't have no families? If every woman decides she wants to show her body and do sex for money, how can you go home to somebody like that thinking that they're going to have a stable family with you or they're going to be able to impart something useful or moral to your children think of how the children are going to grow up man if they hear this stuff they have to make a decision bro ugly this is dirty 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 work what do they feel about that they feel amazing that i'm doing something that i love wait your your family feels amazing that you're that I'm doing, that I'm doing something that I love, yeah. Wait, do you love it? I love it. I do every day, so I have a, you know, I have a strong passion. If you didn't make Are your uh, parents religious? I just... Listen, simps, the next one to try to take this lady serious, she says she do it every day. What in the world 
does not depreciate with time and use. I mean, think about it. That's an old Kevin Samuels one, man. What doesn't depreciate with time and use? You know, your, your, your JJ is getting a whole bunch of time and a whole bunch of use on it. So inevitably, when you decide you want to settle down with somebody, you think that people should be putting up with what you've done so far to get there? Man, I hope every dude in the world see this right here. Said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you, when you tell your dad that, uh, Strain, you have sex with men for money, uh, is, he, is he highly supportive or no? Yeah. Yeah, he says, good job. Mm -hmm. All right. This man asked her how her father feels about it. And she says he's supportive. No father in the world would be supportive of their daughter doing sex work. No father, not one. That's insane. If you love your child at all, you wouldn't want that for her and would do everything in your power to stop her from doing it. I will be over there with Father Karras and all them people, man, trying to exercise that demon about this child. That's what I'd be doing. Mm -hmm. Does he give you a nice pat on the head and say, go get stuff for that cash, girl? Is that what your highly religious <laughs> father says? I just, I'm just curious. I'm like, I'm just curious, honestly. I want to know. Does he say, good job, sweetheart. I'm glad you're taking a stranger's peen in order to make that money just as God intended. Look at her face. Is, is that, does, he get, does he say something like that to you? No, not exactly what you are trying to describe, he would say, but I would say he is supportive. Oh. Well, I got a question. You and, uh... and that's going to be it for this one. yet not wanting to do any other work or have any other responsibility about wanting to have the right to vote when they don't have any skin in the game and all they do is muddle up the situation because they go for talking points that no sane man would go for and it is basically eroding the country if not the world so they typically have these type of young ladies on and that's fine and it's entertaining and they have a lot of OF girls on and things like that. And if, you know, on one hand, if you choose to do that, I'm all about your choice to do it. I'm just saying we got to make better decisions. I'm not sitting up here saying I ain't make no bad decisions cause I made plenty, but Jesus, man, let's, let's do better. Let's really do better with ourselves, man. Don't sanction this. Don't support this young lady. I'm asking you not to support her. And I'm asking you not to support her, but not because it's going to hurt her because it's going to help her. We need to really stop supporting foolishness. We got to, I'm Lord Fader and this is it for me. I am out. Y'all ready to see my demon? She got five kids and four different fathers. She don't understand why the rest of us is bothered. It's cause you want a system welfare in section eight. Uh -huh. Online telling people that your life is great. You have a mental breakdown because you psychotic. Can't take care of your kids cause you are neurotic. You practice witchcraft, terror, reading, rude, ha. So how that's working out for your life so far? Addicted to social media like YouTube. See, we can see your fridge is empty, you have no food. Roaches on the wall, but you got on a wig Blaspheme with your mouth while you ignore your kid Your self-esteem is tied to your subs and your life Can't see that you possess because you always right The only time you bring up God, it benefits you But God is not the author of the evil that you do Rather reign in hell than serve in the heavenly Some man responsible, is that what you telling me? It ain't my fault, cause my silk don't shop My daddy don't puff, so my truth don't stop there is no resolution if you never seek help The thing inside saying you can do it by yourself The doctrine of devils, the sermons of demons Instead of running from the truth, you should have ran from semen But now you find yourself lost like Gilligan and Skip You can run from your children, but you won't survive the trip When you playing with the Ouija, you invite your thing To come into your life and all that it will bring Pain and suffering and watch as you collapse If you can listen to somebody else, there might be hope perhaps The lone song of loneliness, soliloquy of pain Speaking in the third person, demon has a name Got no else to give, gon' make some people mad The demon won't turn you loose and I think that that's sad Now listen to logic so you don't know what you do 
You don't change, your life will be destroyed, period, poop. Ready to see my demon? Oh, it's about to be some mad motherfuckers out here.